So let us discuss about the Doppler effect. Doppler effect or Doppler's effect. So what do you mean by this Doppler effect? Suppose you have a source S and an observer. Source means something which produces the sound. Suppose a source, let's say if the frequency of the source is equal to 5 Hertz, which means in one second, five, 5 waves are produced by the source. And this so the waves from the source clearly reaches the observer. Clear. And this also means that the time period T is equal to, we have time period equal to reciprocal of frequency that is equal to 1 by 5. That is T equal to 0 0.2 seconds. Which means after every 0 0.2 seconds, the observer receives a wave. That's the meaning of T equal to 0 0.2 seconds. So we can say that the frequency, real frequency equal to 5 hertz. And the apparent frequency, apparent frequency means the frequency received by the observer is in this case it is 5 hertz because the receiver, the observer or the listener is not moving. Now what happened if the observer move up to a distance this? Suppose the observer has a velocity of v o. That is what happened if in one second it, he covered this much distance. So that the apparent frequency now will be, suppose if you think, if he is in this position, at this position, he can receive five, five waves, clearly this five waves in one second. But he covered an additional, additional distance, which means he get the advantage of getting two more, two more waves, clear. So that his new frequency will be five plus two that is equal to 7 hertz. So what about his new time period, let's say t dash, t is 1 by 7, which is equal to approximately 0 0.142 seconds, which means while he is moving, his frequency, the frequency from the source and the frequency he receives are different. So there is a change in the real frequency and apparent frequency. Suppose what happened if he's move, he is moving in this direction, let's say with the velocity v o itself. Now his frequency, suppose he is in this position, that is in this position, he can receive five waves, five waves in one second. But now he is not here, he is away from the source. So he get the disadvantage of receiving these two, these two waves or these two pulses. So he can only receive 5 minus 3, that is, sorry, 5 minus 2, 5 minus 2, that is 3 hertz. Clear. So with the relate with the motion of the observer, or in other ways, other words, the relative motion between the source, source is also moving. Relative motion between the source and observer, the frequency or the apparent frequency changes. And this is called Doppler effect. Doppler effect means the change in frequency of the receiving pulse when there is a due to the relative motion between the source and the observer. Clear. This phenomenon is called the Doppler effect. Now we have to we have to find an equation for the apparent frequency relating all these terms. Now let's derive that. Now suppose you consider a source and an observer here which are at a distance of L units from each other. L. Suppose the source is moving with a velocity Vs towards the observer and the observer is moving at a velocity Vo away from the source. Now let the source is producing a sound wave and it is traveling with a velocity, let's say, Vw, velocity of the wave. Now let's take T1 be the time taken by the by this pulse to reach this point O. That is, in order to cover the distance SO. Now you know 
time is always the distance divided by the speed so distance divided by v will be the relative speed relate speed of wave with respect to observer because observer is also moving clear so you can write this as l divided by velocity of v w is equal to velocity of wave minus velocity of observer let's take that equation consider that as equation number one now suppose let's take another time t2 this time means after receiving this pulse we have a second pulse let's say green okay that's the second pulse now let's consider the time t2 see there is always a time for the generation of wave clear suppose if the frequency is equal to let's say 2 hertz then the time period is equal to the reciprocal of frequency that is 1 by 2 which is equal to 0.5 seconds what does what does this mean actually suppose if a source produces a wave this is the first wave and it is traveling towards the right anywhere okay and after 0.5 second only the second wave is second wave is generated so there is a time difference between time lag between the generation of waves so only after 0.5 seconds the second wave gen is generated and we are talking about the generation of the second wave and its propagation towards the point o so definitely it will take a time t time period plus the time taken by the second wave to reach the point o but remember during the time period t the source and observer has covered a certain distance because they are not rest they are traveling with velocity vs now after time period the source will be somewhere here let's say s and also the observer will be not here at some distance o let's call it that as s dash and o dash now if you represent that in this line let's say this is equal to s this will be s dash this is o this length will be O dash. Okay, clearly this length will be the cover that is since the so speed of the source is Vs and it takes the time period T. So this length will be Vst and this length will be velocity of the observer times Vo into T. Clear. Now the second wave has to travel this much distance s s dash o dash clear s dash o dash it has to cover that distance s dash o dash we know i'll erase this you know s dash o dash will be s dash o plus o o dash this you know this length will be this length will be the whole length that is this length is actually the whole length is l so l minus this whole length is l l minus vs into t okay so l minus vs t plus o o dash o o dash is equal to vot clear that's equal to s o s s dash o dash now the time taken by the uh, let's say t, th this is the total distance i'll write here l minus vst plus vot divided by distance divided by velocity velocity will be the relative velocity of wave with respect to observer okay now the time t2 will be clear time t2 will be t plus l you can write this as plus you can take the t outside t into v o minus v s whole divided by i'll erase this divided by v v w o is equal to v w minus v o this can be simplified as t2 is equal to t plus taking this to the denominator of L so L by VW minus V0 plus T into 
V0 minus Vs divided by Vw minus V1. Let's call that as equation number 2. Now, if you find the difference between T2 and T1, that is T2 and T1, T2 minus T1 will be the new time period for the time taken by the first time interval between the uh, adjacent pulses. That is the first pulse and second pulse. So that is equal to T dash will be T2 equal to you can write this as T, the, the T plus L by Vw minus Vo plus T into Vo minus Vs divided by Vw minus Vo. I'll erase this. Minus this is T2 minus T1 is equal to L divided by Vw minus Vo. So you can cancel this one. Now you can take that T outside. T is common for both the equations, both the terms. T dash is equal to this T is common. T into there is one here, one plus Vo minus Vs divided by Vw minus Vo. So this is equal to T into cross multiplying Vw minus Vo plus Vo minus Vs divided by Vw minus Vo. Cancel this one. You will get T dash is equal to T dash is equal to T into Vw minus Vs divided by Vw minus Vo. Now let's call this is the expression for the new time period. Now if you take the reciprocal that is 1 by T dash is equal to 1 by T you can reverse this that is Vw minus Vo divided by Vw minus Vs. You know the 1 by time period will be the frequency. T dash represents the new time period or the time period as received by the observer that is 1 by T dash equal to new frequency F dash equal to F into Vw minus Vo divided by Vw minus Vs. So, this is the expression for the apparent frequency. F dash is the apparent frequency. Where F is the real frequency. Real frequency does not change because it is the frequency produced by the source. It doesn't depend upon the motion of free frequency. Real frequency doesn't depend upon the relative motion. But the apparent frequency completely depends upon the relative motion between source and observer. Now if you can take different cases from this equation itself. That is, let's consider, let's write the original case. That is, we have an we have a source which is producing a wave, and we have an observer. We just take the velocity of source as Vs and took the velocity of observers as o, v o that is source is moving towards the observer and observer is moving away from the source and we know v w is the velocity of the wave and in this case we found that f dash is equal to f into v w minus v o by v w minus v s so let's take this as the reference case. Now we, we just consider another case, let's say case 1, in that the observer is moving towards the source, I'll write it, that is, that's case 1. Here in this case, the observer is moving towards the source with a velocity v. Clearly, 
this this expression is verified when the observer is moving away from the source like this so you can change this as f dash is equal to f now in now new case we took this as positive so this will be negative so vw minus you can put minus v0 in here vw minus vs so the frequency f dash will be f into vw plus vo divided by vw minus vs okay what i'm saying is you can take this as the reference case refer reference case and you can derive all the other relations whether source is moving towards observer or whether source is moving away from the observer similarly observer was moving towards the source and observer is moving away from the source let's take another case i'm just erasing this so in our new case let's let's take v0 as moving away from the source now let's change this vs the source is moving away from the observer like this vs and we took vs in this direction and derived this equation now in this case that is the source is case let's say case 2 here the source is moving away from the observer you can write this as f dash equal to f into vw minus no change in v0 because because we took that as same as that of the reference case but vw minus we took this as the direction positive direction so this will be negative so minus vs so the apparent frequency f dash will be f into vw minus vo divided by vw plus vs as you observe closely that parallel frequency will be less than the real frequency okay in this way you can you can um, find all the other cases suppose i'll take one more case let's say the source is at rest v is equal to zero which means source is not moving and the observer is moving towards the source in that case we can take this as the case 3 we can take this as the reference frequency so f dash will be f into now vw no, there is no change velocity of the observer we took this as the positive so this will be negative by vw minus clearly the, the source is at rest so zero so f dash will be f into vw plus vo divided by vw in this way you can write all other cases clear just take this as the reference case clear